Shalom. Assalamu alaikum, my friends. Hey, everybody. Let's talk about AI for a minute. Because I've been watching a lot of uh, stupidity on AI, and then I've been watching uh, reactions from people, which, which we have to understand that when people are filming themselves doing chat GTP and AI stuff, right? And a lot of this is set up by corporations, by the way. You have to remember that. But other videos of people discussing chat uh, with AI and this and that, Everybody, you have to understand, those are videos. Videos are edited. Videos, everything. I do it my damn self. So people who can do the things that people are doing are aware of how they're doing it. But the majority, here's the bad thing, is the majority of people don't understand that concept. So I'm watching these people watching a guy question AI and stuff, and they're all like a fab fabergasted. Oh, wow, AI, oh, he's talking. Oh, this is that. Now, you have to understand that when you're looking, even at human beings ourselves, when we see someone of another race, when we were a little kid, it stood out, right? You understand? It's like if you see a snake crawling on the ground towards you, you freak out, right? Because why? The image of it. So here is a robot looking like a human being and all of a sudden it's talking, it's blinking its eyes, it's moving, it's doing this. And it's weird the way it's doing it because it's not the normal, right? It's a just still, we, you understand, it's machine moving. So we look at it like uh, in awe that this is crazy looking, this is weird looking, this is not a normal human being, but it is, but it isn't. So you automatically become intrigued with this image understand now when it starts to speak and, and say words let me reiterate on this anything and everything that chat GTP or AI does speaks or do is programmed always remember that and never fucking forget that because they keep trying to make you think because of the way that they make videos and they portray AI they make you think that AI is an aware thing. It's not. And it never can be. That's why in the Bible it's called the son of perdition. Understand? This thing doesn't think for itself. It has no attitude, no action, no nothing. Everything is programmed. Understand that. Even the experience though, like you're a child and you get uh, injured or you fall or you hurt. You automatically have that innate, built-in emotional aspect to a human that we all have. You fall down, you scrape your knee, all children, no matter what they are, will grab their leg, grab their knee, and cry. And have the feeling of pain, have that feeling. AI has none of that stuff. You better understand that. AI has none of that. If it pretends and you perceive that it is doing that, it has been programmed to do that. So it is like being told in an emotional state. Now, this is the scary thing that people better be aware of. Because our own hearts, our own selves can manipulate emotions. You got movie stars all day long doing it. Pretending to cry, pretending to laugh, pretending, everybody pretending. This is that craft that prospers. So you get this craft of pretendness. And let's put all this into AI. You understand what I'm telling you? So all that foul abomination that is false, that is the anti, uh, that is in place of reality, in place of actually being a human being and knowing what the emotions and feelings are, actually doing this, anti-Christ, in place of this, they're going to take all that which is foul and that will be what is the program of AI. Now, when AI goes to create the story, like on Jet Chat GTP, everybody is amazed. Oh, AI is so smart. Look, he made up a story in like less than two seconds. Well, a computer, a calculator, can calculate 100,700,065,9 times the 1756 can multiply it in a matter of seconds. Why? Because it's been programmed that way. You understand? It's, that, that is the, the thing that we know the number is because a living person did it. The living person programs the answer. The living person puts the answer inside this chip. Understand? 
This thing is not alive. It has no feeling, no emotion. It's, it's ignorance. To even play around with it, it's ignorance. It's stupidity. Everybody better wake up to this. Because you're going to be so uh, manipulated by the presence of it. And you think it's so smart and so wise. And then we'll get into when it starts predicting weather and start doing this. Now, you, you have to understand, basically, you got a meteorologist or the meteorology environment department. Everything that's meteorology environment department of computers that run on computers to tell you what's happening and so on and so forth to predict, predict weather patterns, that's going to be mounted in AI brain. So now you think AI is a smart guy. Oh, look, he knows the weather. How? 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 He's tied into the fucking computer meteorology, man. Wake up. This thing is not what it's supposed to be pre as it's being presented to you. It's not. It's all a dis great, great deception with AI. You better wake up and understand that. Everything about it, everything it does, everything it does, and, and, and uh, is programmed in it, is all deception. You better understand that. You could teach a dog how to shake your hand. Does that mean the dog knows how to shake a hand? It just is an action that is a repetitive thing over and over that they do. You think in your mind because it's a human emotion. I shake the hand of the dog. Give me a, oh, look, he shake my hand. Oh, funny. Oh, it's so neat. It's so cool. Is he intelligent? No. No. Because he's not going to walk up to different people to shake their hand in the, in the manner that a human being does and why we do it all of these aspects to us there's multifaceted aspects to a human being that's why i've always said algorithms are bullshit bullshit they're full of deception algorithms are just because i like i said just because i search something doesn't mean that's 100 percent all what i'm all about just because i watch a tv show or i listen to a song or i do that doesn't mean that's what i'm all about but algorithm look at that and they think that's what it's all about. You could get something that goes viral that's the stupidest video ever. It goes viral. Now what happens if it goes viral and this goes into AI brain, mind frame? AI automatically will think because of the programming of it. This is what all humans must like this because it's the most searched thing. Not having the emotion and the joke or anything else attached to this you understand so they're going to deceive everybody with a fucking robot and you're all going to think that this is god man because you're going to be so manipulated into this simulated world you're going to be so you, you know allowing things to do something for you when you could do it yourself is flat out laziness eventually you get so fucking lazy you start getting so fucking stupid. Stupid. Like back in the day, everybody in caveman time pretty much knew how to make a fire. How many people in the world living in 2023 would know how to go out and make a fire without matches, without it, all anything like that, right? You understand what I'm trying to tell you? You get dumber. The more you let something else, you get dumber and dumber. Weaker and weaker in your body as well. Your immune system, because you're staying all, all inside your house all day long and stuff, your immune system is pathetic and weak. You get sick over the slightest thing. So you're, you're basically, in order to give false life, in order to breathe false life, into AI or into the image of the beast. The image first was radio. You could hear it speak. Second was TV. We could look at things and hear it speak. Kind of inter interact with it in a manner. Now it's going to go to a greater thing. It's going to have, we're going to breathe life into the image of the beast. And in doing this, you're giving your what is you up so you're basically in order to give this thing life you're going to kill your own selves 
That's what it's boiling down to. You think it's all fun and games. You think I'm lying to you. This is it. it look, look in the past. They took away your horse and your carriage. Think about all the wrecks, all the accidents that they had with a horse and a carriage. Think of all the deaths that took place with a horse and a carriage. They took that away from you and gave you a machine called a car to which today, look at it, they fight and kill people over the oil that it needs in order to run. They wipe out nations, they go to war, they destroy things, all for this. All for this shit. You know, I'm starting to, to, to realize that, that the world that I have been living in has been the most corrupt of any generation in the whole world and that this is the wickedness, the most wicked uh, generation of the world that we actually live in. Just based upon, you look at nations, removed boundary lines, they're all mingling their seeds. That's all against the word of God. Everything that, you know, it, it's, and it's shocking to me to realize these things because it's like, you know, you think that it was all wonderful. You think that it's good. You think this, you think that. But in the, in, in the reality, when you, you look at it, it was all the devil. It was all evil. Why they want cars to begin with? It wasn't to help you, like they say. It's not to help you. It's so that they could profit and make money faster and deliver goods and services faster to profit faster that's it meanwhile from them putting it out there all the deaths the train in east palestine the wreck that took place remember they want to build railroads and before when they want to build railroads they had to do what well they had to bullshit manipulate and lie and deceive the farmers and the cattle ranchers and they did and they, they, they sometimes killed some of these cattle ranchers to take their land from them so they could build a railroad. This is the real history of technology. People better wake up to this. Technology was uh, implemented by force. All technology, all technology was implemented by force. You better realize that as well. So then once they took your horse and carriage, they give you a car. The car needs to run on gas. So they have to dig and drill, right? You understand all that. But now look at the argument nowadays. So every, every time a new technology, it seems like, comes about to happen, all of a sudden that technology that once was used, now all the people are saying, oh, that's so bad, that's bad. Because they want this one. Before it was cannabis. Oh, the cannabis marijuana plant is so bad. We're making Levi jeans out of it and everything else. But it's so bad, we need to invest in lumber. So all the billionaires invested in lumber. And then they condemned anybody who was growing the cannabis. You understand this? This is what they do with everything. Everything. Right now, like I showed you in the video, they want you to destroy the stores so that they can shut all the stores down. Because if the stores don't make profit and they lose money... They have to shut down. That's the way it is, man. And they're forcing all of this on you. And meanwhile, while they're forcing the division and the destroying of what we once knew, they're, they're showing videos. They got YouTubers. They got all these things. Algorithms promoting this type of activity in the world. Big time, big time. Fill it with all the little children's head. Here's more candy for you, little kid. Here's more candy. We're going to brainwash you <laughs> and destroy you <laughs> and make you our slave. <laughs> and that's the reality of what they're actually doing. And you think it's funny because I'm acting like a fool, but I'm telling you, that is what they think behind closed doors. I was raised around, I, I was born into the very dirt poor family. Project shit. Ghetto fuck. But I was raised by very rich people. I know both sides of their mind frame. The good and the bad of both sides. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm telling you that when the rich see money and they can profit something, they don't give a rat's ass about anything else. They don't. It's collateral damage to them. Human life is collateral damage. You can clearly see it with abortion. 
Rather than telling children, quit fucking having sex, motherfuckers. Grow up. You don't have a fucking job. You can't even take care of a fucking child right now. You ain't even graduated from fucking school yet. Why you want to go around fucking? Well, that's because music, entertainment, and everything else promotes it in their mind frames. So that's what they do. If you would have something else to watch that would be promoted, they would want to do that. That's the new cool thing. You understand? You can change the kids' mind frames of what they get a hold of and what they can view as being cool or anything. Overnight, you can change that shit. They don't want to. Because they're on a path already that they have marketed, they have done, and this is the path that they're going down. And it's going to destroy our whole world as a fact. Anybody, I mean, come on, man. How many people are on the fucking earth? We have 8 billion people. Out of 8 billion people, 6 billion of you at least believe in that there is a God. You understand what I'm telling you? Out of 6 billion, eight, uh, out of 8 billion, 6 billion of you know this. In knowing this, don't you have any fear about which, what is the world, the path is going down? Because you, we all have our books. We all know that what this path is going to bring. Why would you do it? You know the whole word of God is a warning for men. That's even what God says. I lay before you blessing and curse. You, you have a choice. Here it is, blessing or curse. Lay flat out. You continue down this path, it, it, you get killed. You continue down this path, you go to life. Blessing and curse. Just because God says something is going to happen in the Bible doesn't mean it will happen. He can repent from it if we change and ask Him to change it and not allow it. But we have to be righteous. We have to get better in our attitude in order for God to hear the voice of men. You understand? So, like I say, just because it's written or documented that this thing will happen, that thing will happen, that's what God, what God tells us because it's a warning. We could stop it. We have that free will to put a stop to it right now, today. All the leaders all over the world could do it right now, today. They choose not to because they're profiting. And they know, if they're religious, that this is definitely leading us into hell quickly. Now let's get back to the corporation thing, you know, making cars, take away your horse and carriage. Later on down the line, you know, with technology, you can look at anything that technology came about. It destroyed something. You might not have realized it when it was there, but that that came when you were a kid had destroyed something that they had prior been using. You don't know it because the years and the seasons that you're born in never, never did such things. You're only aware of what is happening in your world now. Never, never even understanding that that a horse and a carriage was better, safer, and cheaper to have. Because not only did you have something that if it died, you could eat it as food. You understand? The much great things were being used. You, you hear about the Native Americans. They would not kill a buffalo. And if they did kill a buffalo, they used every part of it. You understand? Now you have a car. Your car breaks down. Where does it go? To the junkyard? Sets there. Then the metal goes back to get recycled to make the same damn thing that's going to go and, and break down. So it can only be used for one thing. That's it. So everything technology creates is a thing for a useful purpose for one action. Now they start to get into the digital technology. This is so first we're in mechanical de technology. Now you get into digital technology where they try to digital digitalize everything meaning meaning this getting getting rid of the mechanical aspect of something cell phones the mechanical aspect of back in the day of a cell phone the wire the cord the vibration these type of things now it's gone you got rid of the wire you got rid of the cord now it's a phone that is seems like it just is working out of how is it working, right? Get a battery, 
then it feeds off the air waves, the signals through the waves of the air, these type of things. So now you're moving to what they had called in ancient days Beelzebub. Now if you know what the word Beelzebub means, then you'll understand why I, I am stressing to you there are two forms of technology, the mechanical and the digital. We're now slowly moving from the mechanical into that digital, which becomes the Dajjal, rise of the Dajjal, and it will be the beginning for them to implement their one world governing over everybody. And I'm going to get in deep, deep into how they do it. I'll, I'll, give, you, I'll give you a great understanding really quickly. So the dragon gives power and authority to the beast. The dragon's China. The beast that's trying to rise up is a technological beast. And the kingdoms that will be in this, this China is giving the power and position to them because China's moving throughout everybody's nation, trying to set up their selves in the nations. Meanwhile, the giving the power to certain people who will promote the ideology of communism or an AI and these type of things. So China will give them money. China will build things for them. China will do this. So the dragon is giving them their positions of power. So right now, if China was not backing Russia, there would be no war in Ukraine. You understand? If China was not backing all these other radical things that it's doing, we there would be peace right now. China don't even realize that it's being used by the Dijal in this manner. They think because everybody is it, like I say, when you when you see the robot doing what it's doing, you're all struck. You 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 become consumed into it. And you want to watch it and listen to what it's gonna say. What's it saying? Oh, wow. Look how it talks. Its eyebrow moved. Oh, look what it said. Not realizing, look, man, that's all programmed. It's like a Joe Biden questionnaire. They gave him the answers to the question. AI is the same fucking thing, man. Oh, but he can create stories out of thin air that nobody has written before. Come on, man. You pick number one through ten. How many different kinds of uh, number uh, sequences can we make? out of dumb numbers 1 through 10. AI is just like a, a calculator. It can do it much faster. That's all. People keep saying AI is smarter. It never, never. It's only faster and it can blend in multiple faceted things into it. So as a human, you go and you train in sports. You're a good sports player. You're not good at doing something else. You're good at what you were practicing. However, on the other end of AI, because it can be a computer chipped, it can be chipped in there and now automatically, without the chip though, it's dumb. Without the chip, AI is shit dumb. Nothing. It's a hunk of metal. So they had to program a chip and program, put the chip there. You understand? And then with all of the things that the information that it has, it can extrapolate and create for you whatever algorithm it's working on create a storyline for you create a thesis paper for you create all that shit but it's it's the same thing you could have been doing think of how many people are in the world billion p billions of people and you tell everybody to write a three uh line sentence about uh skateboarding and everybody in the world does it how many are going to be the same how many are going to be different that's the same fucking thing as AI, man. It ain't intelligent. You uh, Talking to AI is like talking to billions of people at one time. That's what it bi really basically is. You understand what I'm saying? So, of course, it's going to have many kinds of ideologies and things because you're speaking to something that has been integrated with billions of ideologies at one time. You, as a single individual human, have your experiences of your individuality AI's individuality has no individuality it's multi with with everything implanted in that chip right you understand so then later on how you see 
uh, where AI gets worshipped is when it starts to predict things, say this and say that, deceiving you in a way because you're going to be so stupefied like, oh, he said it was going to rain. It rained today. AI said it. And you got to see him say it. You, you, you understand? So you're, you're starting to dumb down your brain and you're starting to give glory to something that that you could be doing, you're doing anyway on a less lower scale, but you're looking at this thing now as, oh, he's greater than me. And you start dumbing yourself down, getting weaker, uh, everything. AI getting stronger and more dominant because everybody around the world's talking. You got Twitter talking about it, Facebook talking about it, everybody movie stars, actors, all these people promoting it. Oh, it's such a wonderful thing. Look at it. Oh, this and that, this and that, this and that. Now let's get to this. I'll uh, explain to you this. So then when it goes, goes to set into the temple and claims itself as God, that's false prophet. That's what the false prophet will do. That's what AI is going to be doing. Understand? Now let's get into when AI, when they're talking to AI and, and they ask questions about Jesus or they ask questions about um uh, into the world and they ask questions like oh is ai going to dominate human beings and this and that remember now now that question has been asked now we're going to listen to what the ai is going to say right is ai safe for humans will ai dominate humans now we wait now ai going to say ai gives its remark what's a remark usually well it's programmed that's not ai saying well, we're going to take over the human beings or we're going to do this. Blah, blah, blah. That's all programmed. You have to understand whoever is working this thing has put in what it's going to say. It has choices that you pick from, yes. But it's going to say whatever it's going to say at whatever algorithm sequence it's set. Now they're going to show everybody on commercials or TV or apps or pla platforms or podcasts Oh, look, AI said it's going to destroy humans. Now, those that make AI are going to come out and say, Oh, we got to be very careful about AI because it's got its own brain. It's thinking for itself. It's, it may attack human beings. We got this slow. Motherfucker, you're the one that programmed it for, to say that shit. That's what everybody needs to be aware of the deception. It's being programmed to say this. Meanwhile, it's programmed for a reason for you, for you to say it. So that way you think. Oh, it's fearful, but these guys know about it and they're going to work up on it to make it a better AI. Come on. Do you not clearly understand what I've just showed you? The people making it have deceived the answer from the AI to you in order for you to feel safe with it because they say they have worked out all the kinks. There's no kinks anyway. It only can be programmed the way you program it. It can only extrapolate information from whatever information you programmed it to be allowed to contain within its brain chip. You understand, world? This thing is fucking stupid. It's the most ignorant thing I've ever, ever seen people in fabricasted about. But of course, that's why they wanted you to get infatuated with video games first. So they, they manipulate video games and they do this and they, they get all the children brainwashed by all this and consume and purchase and buy and buy and buy. And the more they buy, the more this money goes into your government agencies, not being used right back for the benefit of you. Instead, all that tax money gets back to uh, Silicon Valley so that they can continue to make more stuff and steal off you more. Every year they come out with another name for the same damn phone. It's an iPhone 1. But now it's gone from iPhone, which is the same name, all the way to iPhone 14, 15. But as you see, it's quickly every year. They've already had that technology. They had the technology the first time they made the first fucking phone. You understand? They just didn't know how to put it together. But the technology was there. So they knew about it. Now they're going to slowly introduce a little bit at a time to profit money off of you. Even though they could have done, they could have released iPhone 12 when they had iPhone 1 out. Fact. Fact. And you keep thinking that all these things are more wonderful, and it's not more wonderful. They're just molding it together. 
So at first your cell phone could only talk to. Now they have a pic, uh, a TV on it. They're just, all they're doing is taking everybody's technology that's invented already and blending it into one 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 item thing. And now you think that's 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 the new tech. It's not new technology. It's condensed technology. Get this. Get it right when you speak about it. Get it right. Say the right word. Condensed technology that's ignorant without a human being to program it. Fact. Now they're going to have to program computers to fix computers. You understand? They would need a human to program it. So it all goes back to the human. And it's the human doing this. But they don't want you to understand that, that without the human making this, it would be shit. It'd be meaningless. Just like your flesh is meaningless, if your own flesh is meaningless, how much more AI and technology? Be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourselves. Because we're living in the worst, evilest generation. And I'm ashamed to be a member of this generation that's wicked and evil because I'm a sinner. I have done sins. I've done bad things. All the, And I look back into it and I realize what had influenced me into sinning, into doing and acting and being and saying. I saw it all. And who would influence technology did. All those things that they were profiting off of did. In the beginning, they had uh, clothes items. Clothes, right? So they made a magazine to show you the kind of clothes that you could pick. This is old, back in 1700s, 1600s, clothes you could wear. Later, it became pornography. It's a fact. So although all of these type of things, they seem good to us. In the long run, it has only bred more corrupt individuals. Think about the clothes thing for a minute. Now you've got the magazines to clothes, and those that eventually became teen magazines. Vanity Fair magazines. Magazines that tell you how a human is supposed to be. How to get how to get your man in bed. And we'll we'll write about it in the magazine so you can read it now. Before we only showed you the new shoe that was out, coming out. Now we've gone that we're going to tell you how to live your life. And we'll throw some naked women in with it. How about that? You like that now? This world's fucked. It's getting worse and worse and worse. And like I say, it's not that crime or anything else is getting bad. That's media spitting that shit out. Crime and bad has always been in the world. Think about this for a minute. There is a religious saying that Isa, Jesus, Yeshua said. And when he's telling the story about the tars and the wheat, he planted wheat in his field and then they woke up and there was tars and wheat growing together. He said, oh, an enemy must have done this. An enemy planted these seeds in with my seed. So the servant said, would you like us to pull them? He said, no. Let them grow together. And at the end, I will gather all that which is not good and throw it into the fire. You understand now? So just because you think what you're doing is good, it's not. It's a tar. And he's letting it grow. So that's what I tried to explain to you. Evil is not a more abundant on the earth. Evil has always been growing up with the wheat. It's media. It's video. It's technology that can speed up in your imagination. The jaw ideology now where one day can be like a week, a week is like a month, a month is like a year. How is it possible? Because if you look at uh, your surrounding of your world, in your own city there was not a murder. But when you watch TV, you saw 20 murders in 20 different cities in one day. You would never have known about that years ago. You know about it now. 
So now it seems like everything closing in on you, getting closer and faster and moving. Because technology is doing this. Showing you which that you couldn't see before. That's all it is. There's always been hate. There's always been crime. There's always been this since the beginning of man with Cain and Abel, man. It's a fact. So I can't believe that people believe the media shit. I can't believe people fall for any of this AI chat. G I can't believe you young generation are falling for this dumb shit. Next, they're going to let you, the AI will do your the kids' schoolwork for them. Now all your kids are going to grow up dumb and ignorant. Easily, easily manipulated because they're so dumb and ignorant because they never did their own work. Something else did it for them. You understand what I'm telling everyone? And this is the beginning. Now, what else uh, ab about the the image that we look at that you will you will be amazed by is when they they create this right and you start to be amazed by it but just remember that when you watch programs that have to do with ai or g chat, chat gdp or any of these things that they're promoting i mean think about it all of a sudden they, they've had it for years silicon valley has been working on it for years why all of a sudden now are they wanting to commercialize it more and more and more and more and more and more? You understand? This is the, how they have worked throughout history to bring something into your society. They commercialize. First, they, they, they hint about it. They say bad things. They get, they get uh, rich people to give a good argument about it, good or bad. Media shows it to the normal citizen. This is the knowledge that we have about it because of the only thing you can learn about it is what they who are designing it telling you. What if they're lying to you? Come on, you understand? You, you think corporations give a rat's ass? I have told you before, look what they did when they wanted to force a, 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 a gas car on you. Look at all the shit it came forth from it. Now you got to purchase the light. It's not, a, you don't get it. It's a privilege. And you have to have license, you got to pay for gas, you got to pay for this, pay for that. Laws had to be created, stop signs had to be, all oh, streets had to be made. All sorts of kinds of new things started to happen because of this. And not just that, but then tragedies started happening. Wrecks, accidents, running people over, this and that. Now we see this new vehicle, the electro vehicle, and what's it doing? It's catching on fire. So you're seeing all of the technology molding itself, trying to force itself into our lives to destroy what we once had. Could you imagine if you were the person living in the day when they wanted to have a Model T and you were with your horse and carriage? You didn't give a shit about any of this weird stuff that the rich, because it was usually the rich who were buying the things until later on when they wanted to implement force for everybody. That's when they lowered down the fucking price. Same way with EV cars, you're going to see that. Right now, they're sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars for the cheapest one. But when they want to promote it to force it on everybody, that's when they'll give everybody a voucher to buy one. You understand that? That's when they do that. Then once you have it, then they jack the price. In order to get that money back, they'll jack the price up on the battery to purchase the battery. Or to charging or anything, they 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 will have to create. Like I say, when they created the gas car, they had to create roads. They had all sorts of kinds of new things they had to create. Same with this, new things going to have to be created from this, and new problems will be arised from it. Why would we want to do that to ourselves? <laughs> we we have enough problems in the world. Why would we want to make technological problems? That's just, and, and, and like I say, it's not, a, the, it's not the world. It's this small percentage of rich motherfuckers with their weird minds and their weird imaginations. Who, think about the first person that you find out was gay. 
sure in your own home maybe you saw something down the line or whatever but the majority of people saw their first weird thing from movies TV because it was the rich and the goofy actors who were pretending or promoting or doing or acting in certain manner and then this gets thrown on you so back in those days there was only maybe four movies a year that you that the population watched now there's hundreds of them uh, per year but back in the day it was only a measly four some were silent you understand but what they promote on there is what they promote what they did is what they did when they start studying the brain they started to realize how the brain functions and they started to change the way of how they were acting and different things of what they were doing cinematically so that it became more intriguing more you you fell more into it you understand and this is their brain control mind controlling mechanism how they do that so we we all better be very aware that this ai is fake it's stupid it's ignorant it's not the smarter than a human being it is only faster than a human being and you must understand that 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 brain of ai would have would be dead if a human does not put a chip in it but you're going to still tell me on the media on the tv on everything that chat GTP and uh, AI are better than a human. And this is what they will promote. This is what they will force. They already did it in the 80s when they started promoting uh, hip-hop music. You saw what hip-hop music bred when they were started to become foul and dirty in their minds, wanting to interracially mingle together. What, what was the thing that they used to say in hip-hop, you know, the hip-hop world in the 80s? Remember all the, 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 the dirty shit that they said in order to get promote of sexuality, to get people to question, to think, to imagine? Remember with how they used to do things? Oh, we have a bigger penis than you, or our, our, our butts are bigger and rounder than yours. Or the, it, it's all flesh-related, you see what I'm saying? And they got everybody to... Oh, oh, does his penis bigger than mine? Is yours big? And and even in society today, which it it disgusts me. And I and I had to go to school. When I went in school, I had these people saying things like that. I'd hear this shit in my own fucking school. I hated it, man. Hated listening to that fucking perverted talk. But it was forced. What could anyone do? Because our government. And we, the people of our government, allowed this shit to foul up the world. And now, look what you live in. And you wonder why. And then you get people who are, because of what they have created, then you'll get sympathizers to say, Oh, but it's okay. It's alright for them to do and say and be like that. Oh, and then you got to deal with that crowd. So nothing will ever get fixed because there's such a large brainwashed weirdo crowd that, that keeps allowing it to keep prospering. This craft keeps prospering, man. And, it's, and if you look and people want to know what is the craft that they're talking about, it's easy. What did God say about Shaitan Lucifer? What is his... What is Lucifer called? In the beginning, he was called the father of lies. So we know that this, this movement that they're doing is full of deception. So anyway, I explained to you, AI is deceitful. Right? Very deceitful. Man programs that. Not The thing doesn't think for itself. So they deceive in that manner. Father of lies already deceiving people. What else? Lucifer said he's covered with all sorts of kinds of gold and all the precious stones and jewels and all that, right? What's AI and stuff need? They need all the precious stones, the gold and all that to run their their uh, computer chips. You understand? So there's your there's Shaitan. It's starting to come to your picture. 
you're starting to view that shaitan is not not a a actual one one th image thing shaitan is the multifaceted of all things gathered together as one all the wicked all the foul all the things to give you the image of what it would be like oh it looks like a man uh, shaitan looks like a man his belly is covered with gemstones and gold and all there he, God's trying to describe to you what gives life to this thing. Not that it looks like this, but this is the image that it's trying to portray back to you. And it will take all the precious stones of Egypt and all. It's all documented of what the nations are going to do in order to continue in their programming of this uh, technology. And they don't care who they're going to kill or what war they're going to make and destroy and commit genocide on people. They don't give a rat's ass. Look at your history. They've done it already throughout your fucking history. They've done it many times. It's not going to change for people. It's going to get worse. Because as already you're starting to see now that they're using... Before you had Atari. Like Atari, we play video games. You could not use Atari to target the citizens. Oh, hey, you're playing Atari. We need to come into your home and check up to make sure you're not a, a, a terrorist or something. Because you're playing Atari. Now they have a different way. They have these apps, Facebook. Most of it's most of it now is not game related. Most of it now is uh, socializing. But the socializing aspect of the human being is now being turned on you. So you got to watch what you say on apps. So like I like I had said previously, their policy is not our constitution. So they're trying to get policy to be the rule over constitution. That, that, that means bringing you into their simulated computer world. Eventually it's giving you a digital currency because the Jal is digital. Everything is digital with the, the Jal world. You better understand that. They have many different interpretations and stories and all this hocus pocus weirdo shit. But like I have tried to explain to you, any hocus pocus that comes from your books is a lie. God does not practice witchcraft nor hocus pocus. Everything can be told and manifested in the reality of your living life. Miracles can be explained uh, on scientific levels that you're not aware of. That's why you will think AI is a god because you weren't aware of how he does something because it's deception of how he's doing it. It's been programmed. If you were a walking meteorologist and you could predict weather, you would be, you know, looked up to by certain individuals. Oh, look, he's smart. He knows when it's going to rain or not rain. Not knowing that you had a whole bunch of different equipment, instruments, and studying and stuff to learn how to do that. AI is chipped in there, and now he automatically, I know what to do with that. I'm smarter than you. I'm better than you. I'm this. It's crazy, and it's a lie. And it looks very beautiful because it has all the precious things of ours. Like I said, you're destroying your own backing of your own currency and taking it all and giving it to this AI who's going to run the world if you don't fucking wake up. Run the world, meaning the people who control it will be running the world. AI itself will never run the world. It's just a piece, a hunk of metal. It's always a human that is hiding behind it. It's like uh, the Wizard of Oz. They go to the Wizard of Oz to talk to the Wizard of Oz. Now you can understand that there's nothing new under the sun. Everything that they had imagined a long, long time ago, they're just trying to bring to life today. So they're bringing AI as the Wizard of Oz. That's is the wizard. That's it. But who's behind the wizard? A human. Yeah. Humans behind it, operating it, all this shit. Meanwhile, you're thinking that it's the wizard that's doing it. And that's the great deception that is going to fall upon the whole earth if you don't wake the fuck up from all of this. They create everything has been created for us a long time ago. The pilgrims did not get to create a place that they had wanted. It got overran by colonialists and it became what we have today. It is not the, the goodness that it was supposed to be. Let's just put it that way. 
It is it is good, good, but it is not what they had intended, because it was manipulated and changed by those in powerful and rich from the red coat side as well. So, then I'll re I'll reiterate another thing for people to understand about miracle things, type of miracles. So when God plans things to be happening, His Word and the things that are in motion are already in motion. We're in His creation. So in it, we will be doing things. And God can raise someone up and tell them what He is going to do or cause their spirit to act. And you think that this person who is speaking to the rock or hitting the rock with the staff is magic or has created this but in reality the water was already going to be coming out from a fountain that was deep in the earth because of a shift or something that happened maybe 10 years ago that was slowly forcing it and God had placed everything where his plan was at that point in time water was going to already come out there regardless of whether Musa was going to be there or not it was going to come out according to God God placed living things there so they can see God's work that's what a miracle is everyone and AI is going to counterfeit a lot of them because you don't have proper interpretation of miracles you have been told of all this false interpretation of your word Moses turned sticks and snakes and all this other hocus-pocus that when you start to see AI doing certain things, your imagination is going to get the best of you and you're going to completely think falseness all about it. And you're going to be in the wrong. And when it says, take the mark of the beast, you're going to be right in line to take the mark of the beast. So I have a lot more to, re to tell you about the miracle function of God, of how God causes his prophets or those that he raises to stand in his work and look like they are part of it but they're not all praise and glory is God's we are only all that come are liars deceivers and glamour hand pocus pocus practitioners uh, that's what just Jesus said right so you have this understanding now that what AI is, is what they have planned for it, what is going to be coming about. And I have a lot greater videos than this one that will tell you more in greater depth of the things that I've been speaking of. I'll tell you some greater depth stuff of it. Um, just to make everyone aware that they are trying to program the young generation into thinking by how they show podcast and how they uh, show interaction with AI, this young generation that's growing up is thinking that this is a real thing not realizing this is program shit this is Wizard of Oz behind the green screen there's a man and he's a foul ass motherfucker so just be aware everyone I have more videos coming to explain greater truths Shalom Assalamu Alaikum